Boriska Kiprianovich is apparently an indigo child that came from Mars to warn humanity. The tales of his past lives and detailed description of technology, planetary systems and even Earth's ancient history are legendary. True or hoax? Let's investigate. Hey guys, welcome to my channel Mystery Inquest. My name is Veronica and I make mystery and true crime videos. If that is something that you are into, please subscribe and tickle the notification bell. Okay guys, grab your cushion and a bag of Takis or Doritos and let's start at the beginning. Boris Kiprianovich was born on January 11th, 1996 and he's an indigo child from Zhirnovsk, Volgograd area in Russia. Zhirnovsk is a small town with population around 16,000. There are significant oil deposits in the area and oil and gas processing is the town's main industry. Boris's mother, Nadezhda Alexandrovna Kiprianovich, is a dermatologist and his father, Yuri Tovsky, Steph is a retired military officer working as a construction supervisor. At some point, Boris's father and mom separate and Boriska lives with his mother from then on. It is not known how much time Boriska spent with his dad after that. Nadezhda reported that her son Boris was unusual from the time he was born. He could hold his head when he was only 15 days old and he said his first word Baba, which means grandmother, when he was only four months old. He said his first sentence at seven months old. He said, I want nail, pointing to a nail sticking from the wall. Boris's mom recognized how gifted her son was and started to educate him more. When he was a year old, she started teaching him to read by showing him letters from the nicotine system and that's how he learned to read by the time he was one and a half years old. Boris also learned to recognize colors and all the different hues and began to draw age two. By the age of two and a half, he could paint. Boris started daycare after he turned two and all caregivers said how smart he was. He was brilliant at speech and he had a phenomenal memory. His mom noticed something else that was unusual. He learned not only from her and from the daycare, but he seemingly learned new things out of thin air. Nadezhda said that no one taught him any of the strange and fantastical things he was talking about since he was about two years old. Boris apparently got into a habit of sitting in the lotus position and then he would describe things he shouldn't have known, such as detailed description of Mars and the planetary system and other civilizations, etc. You see guys, because Boriska remembers fragments of his past lives on Mars as well as his travels to different planets including Earth in the past. When his mom asked him how he knew all that, Boris told her that he used to live on Mars. He explained that there was a huge catastrophe that caused Mars to lose its atmosphere and it killed almost all Martians there. Now there are only a few remaining inhabitants that live in underground cities. There were a lot of wars. Even though Boris was young, he was about 14 or 15 at a time, he remembers fighting the war. He said, quote, the Martians were waging wars so I would often have to participate in air raids with a friend of mine. Boriska doesn't want the same thing happening to Earth and that's why he was reborn to Earth to warn humanity to avoid using nuclear weapons. He also remembers flying to Earth to trade and to do scientific research. Boris used to be a pilot of a very advanced spaceship that was triangular in shape or in a teardrop shape and they had powerful engines that run on iron and plasma whatever it means you guys who are clever enough can you please explain it if it's possible <laughs> when boris read a book about lemurians from whom do we come by ernst muldashev the text and pictures either sparked his long lost memory of his past life as he could talk in detail about the lemurians and their discoveries or it sparked his imagination. 
It cannot be proved either way. Apparently, Lemuria was destroyed about 800,000 years ago because they no longer wished to develop spiritually. They drifted from the path of love and through this destroyed the wholeness of the planet. The cataclysm sank the continent to the bottom of the Indian Ocean. Boriska says he had a Lemurian friend and that he sadly died in a catastrophe. Boriska said, quote, A huge catastrophe happened on Earth where mountains exploded and a huge continent broke apart and sunk under the water. And all of a sudden, a huge stone fell on the building where my friend was and I couldn't save him, end quote. Boris is still traumatized by the events and suffers a survivor's guilt. Could it be real, you guys? Could Boris really be a reincarnated Martian? Or is it just his overactive imagination? Actually, his mother could have played a big role in why Boris is so smart. She educated him and encouraged him from when he was born and she used the nicotine technique to raise him. The nicotine system was developed by a husband and wife duo, the nicotines. They applied the technique on their own children. They had seven kids, you guys. Their aim was to develop children's physical and intellectual abilities in creative and healthy environment. It is similar to the Montessori education system. Later, they added educational tools such as colorful cubes that children were encouraged to play with and make patterns with. Some of the techniques include the parents should never give solution to the child. They should let the child to work it out by themselves. This encourages independence and confidence. The child should be free to learn what they want and when they want. They should be surrounded by stimulating environments with objects such as maps or mathematic formula pictures. They should wear comfortable and light clothing and have sports equipment available for use. And so Boriska's house was filled with books on numerous subjects such as astronomy, astrophysics and astrology in Russian and Latin. And when Boriska was three or four years old, his favorite pastime was to look into these books. At some point, Boriska read another book by Moldashev called In Search of the City of Gods. It's about burial chambers and pyramids in Egypt. And after reading this, you guys, he came up with a great prediction for humankind. He said that once people will open the Sphinx, life on earth will change forever. He said that there is a mechanism somewhere behind the sphinx ear that will open the statue, but he doesn't remember exactly how it works. Yeah, you guys, there might be something about this because there are apparently hollow spaces inside the sphinx, according to some scientists that examined the sphinx with a radar. According to Khadija Hammond, ancient Egypt expert, Dr. Dabetsky found a square anomaly underneath one of the paws. The authorities didn't allow anyone to explore it further after that. I wonder why, you guys. So, it is possible that Boris is right about the Sphinx. Also, there was a dude called Edgar Case. He was an American clairvoyant who died in 1945. And guess what, you guys? He claimed that there is an ancient library hidden below the statue. Can you imagine, guys, if that was true? Imagine what secrets we could learn about Earth, our past, about all the stuff that we don't know yet. Anyways, you guys, I find the Egyptian pyramids and the Sphinx and the whole Egypt thing fascinating. Please let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a video on that. Because I don't believe what they tell us about pyramids being tombs, you guys. I think there is something else going on and it is very intriguing and mysterious. Anyways, let's get back to Boriska. So Boris also talked about special gifted children that are being born in our age. They are called the indigo children and they are special just like Boriska. The term indigo children was coined by Nancy Ann Tapp in the 1970s who began to notice a lot of children being born who were different to other kids. They are believed to have special, unusual and sometimes supernatural abilities such as telepathy or psychic abilities. Abilities. These children are highly intelligent and artistic. They don't accept authority. They have trouble at school and with others who don't get them. Indigo children are often described as strange or weird. That's why they feel closer to nature and animals. The indigo children know they are different and they are sometimes labeled as autistic or as having ADHD. And they also have an indigo aura around them. That's why they're called indigo kids. And a lot of indigo kids are homeschooled 
apparently they have been sent to earth to help humanity to evolve. The concept of indigo children is very interesting and it is true that in the past few decades way more children have been diagnosed with ADHD or autism spectrum disorder. But I have to also state that the scientific community doesn't believe this to be real. They consider it only as some new age concept. Boris says that many indigo children are being born right now. But he also said that he hasn't met any personally yet, except maybe Julia Petrova. We don't know who that is, it might be one of his friends. Boriska explains that indigo children are here to save us and that he is one of them. Boris has a number of predictions for humanity. Okay, are you ready guys? Here we go. In 2007, he predicted that a huge catastrophe was going to happen, such as the Earth's poles will switch. This would wreak havoc on life on earth. He didn't say when it's supposed to happen, so we will have to wait and see. Boris also predicted a huge catastrophe on a large continent in 2009 and another one in 2013. Okay, so the years have passed and there haven't been any global cataclysm, so maybe just maybe you guys. The cataclysm was prevented by the indigo children, so although it was supposed to happen, it didn't happen. Boris also explained that knowledge is very important for humanity, but it will only be given to more evolved and deserving people such as the indigo children, and no new knowledge will come to criminals and alcoholics or those who do not want to change for the better. After some time, only the deserving people will remain and a time of unity and cooperation will begin on earth. Boris said, quote, I have brought the new time, I have brought the new information, end quote. Boris says he's not afraid of dying because he knows people never really die but live on in new bodies like he experienced. He lived through many disasters including a nuclear disaster on Mars during a war. He explains that some people survive and they now live in underground cities on Mars. Boris said that the Martians don't get old, they grow and change until they are around 30 to 35 years old and then they stop aging. He says it's because they breathe carbon dioxide on Mars. The air on Earth makes people to age and die. So if you guys want to stay young forever, you have to live on Mars. But Boris explains that there is some kind of station that prevents Mars being revived again. He remembers always trying to fight that station. He says the station needs to be destroyed for life to flourish on Mars once again. The station is also responsible for our Earth's space probe's problems with landing on Mars. It is due to the station's interference that we lost a lot of craft on Mars while trying to land there. Boris also remembers the serious problems the Martians had with water. When Mars began to lose its atmosphere, Boriska said that special cylindrical ships would travel to Earth to get water. Boris also remembers different races on Mars that were at war because of technology. At one point they stopped sharing it freely amongst themselves and that's why the war started. And Boris wants to avoid anything like that happening on Earth and that's why he's here to help. Boris started to talk about his past life on Mars when he was about 4 or 5 years old. He remembered the most when he was between the ages of 6 and 7. But by the time he turned 11, he forgot a lot of the details. Sadly, you guys. When Boriska was a spaceship pilot, he would also fly on the missions to Saturn. He described how difficult it was to navigate through the asteroid belt. He said that many of his friends died on the approach to Saturn. Apparently, Boris Boris was responsible for Jupiter. They had a special project of creating the second sun in our solar system, but it failed and we ended up with what Jupiter looks like today. Due to the war on Mars, the project was never finished. So you guys, we could have had two suns according to Boriska. He also said that Mars was much closer to Jupiter, but during some disaster, Mars changed its orbit and lost its satellite. That's how Earth got its moon. When Boris was about five years old, he started to talk about Proserpine planet that was destroyed many hundred thousand or even millions of years ago. He claimed to have witnessed from Mars how Proserpine was sliced by a beam and how it fell to pieces. The planet no longer exists, but it's in inhabitants teleported to the fifth dimension. 
which is like a parallel world, so that's great that they got saved. Boriska says that Earth is a living, conscious being and it has been accepting some of Proserpine's children in order to educate them. Some children who are born here can sometimes remember their origins and that's why they say they are not from Earth. They say they are extraterrestrials. Apparently this phenomenon has been noticed by the scientific community. A woman called Valentina Gorshunova, also known as Kaina is one of those children. She can not only remember Proserpine, but she meets other Proserpinians in her dreams. It might not be a coincidence that she suddenly appeared in the same city as Boriska and they both went to the Blue Mountain in the Medveditskaya Ridge Anomalous Zone. You see, that's how Boriska became famous. It was at this camping trip when he was seven years old that he silenced everyone sitting around the campfire and he told his strange tale about Mars and his past lives. Someone realized the importance of what Boriska was saying that he recorded the whole speech that lasted for more than an hour and the rest is history you guys the recording got into the russian papers and they did an interview with boris and from there the whole world learned about boriska when asked about travel boris described two types of travel portals one portal was used to travel through space and the other was a time portal used for teleporting through time there were different types of ships of course but some of them can transport you instantly to your destination they are triangular in shape and they are made up of six layers including a durable material, a rubber unspecified metal and another one with magnetic properties. He said quote, if you power the magnetic layer with energy the apparatus can fly all over the universe. End quote. What about other aliens like the Grace? Could he describe any? He was asked. And yes, Boriska knows about the Grey civilization of small humanoid extraterrestrials with huge eyes. He says that they are not Martians. He says that the Martians are much closer to Lemurians and Atlanteans. The Martians are very tall and the Greys are small, almost like dwarfs. Boriska further describes the Greys as less evolved and cruel. The Martians, who are highly evolved with psychic abilities, had to fight them several times because they were coming from a different galaxy to kidnap people and to experiment on them. Okay, so you might be wondering what happened with Boriska next. Okay, so when Boris was of school age, he was so advanced that he went straight to second grade. And even there he had difficulties because he knew more than his teacher. <laughs> His teacher, Maria Ivanovna, was not very happy about this. The school was not equipped to deal with such a talented boy, so he was homeschooled by a teacher that taught at the Set I'm so sorry you guys, Szczecinin Academy, a school for gifted children. He says that's where Boris needed to be studying. The academy also used a system to somewhat similar to the Nikitin or the Montessori programs, where children study the subjects on their own and the teacher acted as a mentor and an advisor. Children are free to choose what they want to study according to their talents. It is unclear why Boris was not attending that school. The only thing we know for sure is that Boris still went to school from time to time to do exams and to discuss with other smart kids what they have learned at home. So was there any scientific research into Boris? The short answer is yes. There were several experts that administered tests to Boris, including a mathematician, Professor Vladislav Lugovenko from the Russian Academy of Sciences and some of his colleagues. Professor Lugovenko met with Boris and invited him to Moscow for examination. Lugovenko conducted research into indigo children. He believed the children are connected to the development of future Earth civilization. It is unknown what the results of his examinations of Boris Cowardo. And after that, Boris and his mom traveled to a special education camp on the Atalsky Lake in the Tulskaya province. Now you guys, I was trying to find this lake and it's not coming up anywhere. So it must be some kind of secret or I don't know you guys. Apparently the Earth's energy is very concentrated there and it has a particular effect on people. It enhanced Boriska's aura or biofield as the professor called it. It made it way bigger. He also stated that Boris was the most advanced person there. The professor hopes that Boris will fulfill his intended mission on Earth. Sadly though, as Boris got older, he slowly began to forget his past lives. 
Even up to that point, the information was a little confusing and fragmented. Nadezhda described it as if a communication channel was gradually shutting down. Some specialists say that the difficulties of our early reality is causing Boriska and other indigo children to forget. Perhaps it was caused by his newfound popularity that brought not only admiration and interest, but also hate and bullying from other kids. Boriska was different and he didn't fit in. Perhaps he just wanted to be like the other kids, you know, like normal. On top of that, Boris went through a rough time because of his parents' divorce. So, where is Boriska now? Nobody really knows where Boris is now, but he's about 26 years old as of 2022, and he just faded from the public life. A quick Google search will tell you that Boris and his mother live in a remote village under the protection of the Russian government. Other people said that Boris lives in Moscow or that he returned to Mars, but none of this has been confirmed. Okay guys, so what do you think about Boriska? Was he telling the truth? I think that Boris was a very smart little boy with a very big imagination. And the way his mother educated him had a lot to do with his intellectual abilities at such a young age. Personally, I think that his mom was into stuff like that and she also met with like-minded people. So they probably talked about a lot of the unusual subjects. And Boriska, he was always around them. He probably heard them you know he also had access to a lot of books with pictures of planets and pyramids and it probably sparked his imagination i think you guys he was just playing but his mom took it really seriously and so did her friends the whole campfire story where boris first shared his mars story with public was apparently at medveditskaya ridge a place with supposedly special earth energies it seems to me that it was some kind of alternative retreat where people told unusual stories around the campfire and Boris was probably encouraged by his mom to tell the story and someone was prepared with a dictaphone to record it. And also, when Boris grew older, he started to forget about his past lives. Well, the interview I saw on YouTube is very awkward. Boris is not forthcoming about anything. It almost looks like he doesn't want to be there and he doesn't give any details about almost anything because he seems so embarrassed. The interviewer and his mother are really trying hard to make him talk, but it's like pulling teeth. And so, sadly, you guys i don't believe it's true i do believe that he was probably studied by the authorities and maybe possibly trained too who knows and when he stayed with professor lugovenko in troitsk near moscow there are a lot of research institutes in that area so that part is probably true either way i hope that boris is happy and thriving and that he has a good life i still find him very interesting and fascinating but guys i believe that there might be something about the indigo children for sure comment below what do you think guys do you know any indigos or do you think that you might be indigo oh squishy say hi say hi squishy what you sniffing mommy's gonna play with you in a little bit hey no go get it professor lugovan comment with <laughs> stop it's funny lugovan conducted research into indigo children <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and what